Welcome back. For several weeks now, we've been visiting operations coping with historic drought conditions. Many ranches are working hard to ride out the drought. Some have succeeded by planning ahead and carefully managing their resources. They've also been keeping their cattle healthy by using products like Purina's Sustained Nutrition Program. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has more from South Texas. The uh, Armstrong Ranch was uh, originally established in, uh, in 1852 with a Spanish land grant. And uh, the uh, operation has always been a continuous uh, cattle operation from, uh, from day one. Um, and uh, uh, Tobin Armstrong helped establish the Santa Gertrudis breed here at the ranch. And uh, he passed away in 2005. Uh, I took over in 2007 and worked for worked for Ann Armstrong, his wife, and uh, and their five children. And we've had uh, the wonderful experiences of having some wonderful dignitaries come and visit. Uh, Ann Armstrong was a uh, was a diplomat to uh, England in the 70s, and just a wonderful lady. And um, from there, we've we've grown the operation. We've spread it to be. Uh, a little more diverse. We've got uh, cow calf operation with the uh, Santa Gertrudis cows. We also run uh, our own stockers. It's about a 2,000 animal unit ranch, and uh, we've uh, diversified the breeding operation as well. We're uh, we're now running Charley bulls and Hereford bulls on the straight girt cows, and uh, and trying to produce a more marketable calf, uh, as well as a uh, a more uh, genetically balanced uh, calf for our environment. The Armstrong Ranch takes pride in its history, its management operations, and its ability to maintain cattle across its vast holdings. For several years now, Cody Fry has been working with his Purina representative to make sure those animals remain healthy and productive by using a sustained nutrition program. Sustained nutrition in a nutshell is keeping that brood cow in a body condition score between five and six on a year-round basis. The current paradigm in the cow-calf business is to let her kind of slide while she's in that gestational period when she's not really raising a calf right before she calves and then bringing her back around. Well, some good research indicates that fetal programming effects have a drastic effect on the fertility of that offspring as well as their survivability and as well as their ability to grow when they do uh, hit the ground. So um, Purina has been doing this for a long time with year-round supplementation programs. In normal times, the sustained nutrition program we use uh, is, is basically to complement the grass that we have. Uh, we've got uh, mainly native grasses, uh, blue stems, uh, uh, our, our primary grasses, uh, but we also have a type of grass that's called uh, Gulf Coast cord grass, which is a very coarse grass that cattle don't prefer unless it's burned. But uh, with the native grasses in this cord grass, uh, the, uh, the Accuration 3210 product that we're using uh, allows us to stretch this grass. Uh, we run into many times during the year when the grass is just the quality is, is very poor. We get below 4% uh, crude protein, but we have an abundance of it. So it, uh, um, the Accuration product helps extend that grass. We're able to, uh, to get uh, uh, increased consumption of the grass, and therefore it has definitely improved our uh, body conditions uh, scores of our cows. And uh, we've seen increased weaning weights uh, to, uh, to also complement that as well. Cody says the ranch has been through two droughts over the past four years. This year has brought only about half the expected rainfall, further affecting the quality and quantity of the operation's grass production. The accuration product that we're using has helped stretch what we do have. Uh, we've decreased our, our cow herd size uh, down from about uh, 1,600 cows to, to now we're about 1,100 cows. Uh, we're running fewer stockers. We're, we're also having to move those stockers uh, a lot sooner than what we'd prefer. Uh, but, uh, you know, with, with, with all being said, uh, like I said, we've been very blessed with the rains that we've had, and, and, and we're going to try to hold on to this base cow herd that we have now and try to take advantage of the uh, improved market conditions uh, in the years to come. And what we've done at Armstrong Ranch to help get at that is we've put um, liquid feeders close to watering uh, areas. That way the cows are coming to water, they can also get some supplement while they're at the watering station and they can go back out and graze these extensive pastures. And because Cody's done a really good job of keeping his stocking rate uh, uh, correct and also done a better job with water distribution, now we're able to touch all these cows on a daily basis really with supplement as well. And because of that, we've got better body condition score on a year-round basis, even in a severe drought like we're in today. 
The liquid accuration, it's, uh, we've used a liquid product from, from day one with Perina. Uh, and, and the way we're using it is basically we set up uh, feeders uh, close to each of our water holes. Our average pasture size is about 5,000 acres. So the best way for us to, uh, that we found to get the consumption that these cows need uh, is to put them close to the water holes. And uh, with, that, uh, with that theory in mind, what we've seen is we're getting about a uh, three quarters of a pound to a pound and a half a day consumption on average uh, in the different pastures. Purina's sustained nutrition program has helped Cody Fry bring down his labor costs, reducing the number of people needed to feed the cattle. In spite of significant culling, the ranch is getting about the same number of calves as it produced four years ago. So if that tells you anything right there, I'm, I'm tickled pink. We've been able to take a lot of pressure off of the pastures, but yet uh, but not lose any calf production. So very pleased. And the weaning weights have, have improved by over 50 pounds. Uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a great turnaround for us. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, uh, to the higher markets, hoping that they'll stay high. And, uh, you know, you can buy a lot of feed with, uh, with a high price market. And, uh, and so I, I'm, I'm very confident that, uh, you know, that we're going to do do well and, and just keep you know pushing these these cows to uh, uh, you know be more selective and, and pick those cows that are easy 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 doing and, and uh, think we're on the right track. Accuration liquid being out on a year-round basis allows that cow again to eat what she needs on a daily basis when she needs it so that we're not in that over consumption and under consumption type, type area and because of that because we keep her in better condition on a year-round basis that allows that cow never to slip back to a point where she has to make up condition to get back in shape to where she can get bred. So a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of things that cow's gonna take care of from a requirement standpoint before her body tells her it's okay for her to get bred back. It's essentially a matter of survival. That's the way God created cows and that's the way that God created people. They have to take care of their maintenance requirement, if they're still growing, their growth requirement, their lactation requirement, and then then their body tells them it's okay to get bred back. So you have to take care of all those requirements regardless of what your conditions are before she's gonna get bred back. And having to supplement out on a year-round basis really helps achieve that. Dr. Farmer says ranchers should remember that even during a drought, a cow's nutrition requirements remain the same. What changes is her ability to meet that requirement from the forage base that they did have. So they've gotta go at it two different ways. If they run out of grass, they have to start providing more supplemental feed to actually substitute for the grass that used to be there. Or in the case of Armstrong Ranch, they've done a good job of putting a stocking rate in place that really better gets at managing through these droughts that they continually have to work through. And because of that, they have stockpiled forage that a lot of ranchers don't have. So they can continue to use a program like Accuration Liquid that's actually a supplement to the grass. And it really keeps their cow cost uh, less expensive than having to feed them more uh, to make up for what the grass doesn't give them. The fact of the matter is, if you're not looking at it long term, and if you're not looking at it as drought is no longer the exception, it's the rule, then you don't make those kinds of decisions to cut down on your cow herd to where you have that stockpile grass to where you can use a lower supplementation rate to get through these tough times. I'm very optimistic the industry will come out of this. The ranchers, they, they, they're, they're a totally different set of people than what the rest of the world uh, is made up of. And there's very few of us left, and that's the unfortunate part. Uh, just a great quality of people, uh, very strong, uh, very strong will, sometimes stubborn, uh, and, and you know, but we're going to learn a lot from this. I, I, I truly believe that, uh, that all ranchers will learn a lot from this drought, and uh, it makes you smarter, it makes you a better producer, it, it makes you a, 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 a lot smarter when it comes to looking at your finances, and it's really made me sharpen my pencil, and uh, you know, it, it, you got to take what God gives you, and uh, this is what He's given us right now. And I believe it's going to make me a better manager, and I believe it's going to make, uh, make all ranchers better managers out of this deal. Reporting from Armstrong, Texas, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman. For more information about Purina's products, visit our website at cattlemantocattleman.org. The NCBA site also has a list of drought and disaster-related assistance programs available for cattlemen and women across the country. Just go to beefusa.org and search for drought assistance. We'll be right back.